boys and girls, so today Mr. Banks is going to explain to you how to play a new game that me and Mr. G have called Make It, Miss It, Move It, okay? Make It, Miss It, Move It. So, what you need for this game is you need either two laundry baskets, two laundry baskets, or two bowls, okay? So, once you have the laundry basket or the bowls, you're then going to need to ball up two pairs of socks, okay? So, after you have the socks balled up, you're going to set the two baskets or the two bowls side by side, okay? So, one in the front, one in the back, all right? But before you start throwing, you're going to need two markers. You need a beginning point, so that's where you put the two bowls or two baskets at at first, and then you need an end point. So, this is how far you're going to go, okay? So, if you're in a room or if you're outside, Make the starting point at the beginning of your room. So wherever you're starting to throw the baskets at, then you're going to make the end point at the end of your room. So wherever your room ends, okay, against the wall, all right? If you're outside and you're in the yard, you want to do it wherever you're starting to throw the baskets or bins at, and then you want to go to where the yard stops, okay? So you're going to need two markers. These markers can be anything. They can be two chairs. They can be two uh, shoes. Anything that lets me and Mr. G see where you started to throw the uh, your socks and then where you ended up. So where the baskets are ending up where you uh, stop throwing your socks. Okay. It's going to make a lot more sense once you see Mr. G's video. All right. So after you have those two baskets and two socks, your guys are going to play the game. And here is an example of how you're going to play it. And Mr. G is going to take it right away. All right, guys, so we're here in the backyard, ready to show you guys how to play uh, Make It, Miss It, Move It. I have uh, our activity course set up in the behind me here, so let me walk you through it real quick. Okay, guys, like uh, Mr. Banks mentioned in his video, we need a starting point and ending point first. So we have, I used two chairs from our patio set, um, starting point, ending point. I have my two laundry baskets right here, and Josie over here has our two sock balls, so we're ready to go. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, guys, so Josie's ready to get started. Uh, first thing to keep in mind is she has to always throw from the starting point, so she's even with that first chair tossing in one of the baskets. Whether she makes it in the white basket or the green basket, She's basically just going to scoot one of the baskets in front of the other. You don't want to leave a gap in between the baskets because then your sock ball could fall in between them, and that's not what we want. Important thing is that we are throwing from the starting point for every throw, not trying to give ourselves an easier throw, and we are trying to make it all the way to the other end of the playing area where we will... Um, then reset the baskets and keep going until our time is up. Seesaw lets you record for five minutes. So you're going to have about five minutes to see how many times you can make it from one end of the playing area to the other. Okay, so now Josie's ready to reset her baskets here. She's headed back to the beginning. So how many times from the start line to the end line can you get in five minutes? It's your turn. 
That was pretty fun, right? I think so. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so again, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Seesaw. You're going to record yourself playing the game. And after you're done recording it, you're going to click the green check mark twice. One time to stop the video. The second time to uh, submit it to me and Mr. G so we can see it. All right. So I go. I hope you guys have a great time with this game. And most importantly, I hope you guys get a good workout. All right. See you guys soon. Bye.